Hey folks, welcome to part 3 of the Super Mario Bros. 3 playthrough. And this time around, I'll finally get to show off this coin ship that I was talking about in the last part. Also, I want to point out that if this song sounds familiar, this is why. Anyway, that's enough of that. We'll go ahead and show off this coin ship, though. Which, yeah, is pretty much just a bunch of coins, and the ship looks similar to the Koopa ships that you battle at the end of each world, but it's not. Because this one actually rewards you for your hard work. Although I guess the other one does since, I mean, you beat the world, right? But yeah, just an opportunity to get a bunch of coins and I'm glad that I got to show this off in the playthrough because it's not always an easy task to make this thing show up. Get that extra life, of course. And then you go down the pipe, and it's pretty much the same battle that you would have had already. Only this time around, it's not two Hammer Bros, it's two Boomerang Bros. Now that hammer that I got, I will save that for later. Did I? Nope. Like I said, I kind of suck at these things. But anyways, on to 3-4. Slide down the slope. Definitely want to look out for that piranha plant that shoots the fire. And of course, I mean, you can make that jump. I just didn't for that. Ooh, just so much crap to avoid here. Also, want to point out that Lakitu is back, who was an annoyance in the first Mario game, and he's an annoyance here. Go ahead and get that extra life, though. I mean, I could hang around. I could have got that leaf, but... Sometimes it's just not worth it when you got those Lakitus chasing you. I got a star out of it, though. Hey, another one of those end cards. You get... Nope, I don't think I get a one-up out of it. Wait, maybe I do? Yeah, there it is. And... Nope. Which I'm sure there will be like a billion more chances for that thing to show up because, I mean, there are a lot of times where it just shows up. I don't know what triggers it, to be honest. Now, Big Bertha here is not much of a threat. But here's the frog suit that we got in World 2 and I guess is meant to be more of a main thing in World 3. Man, it just makes it easier to swim. Ooh! Didn't even get that extra life. Pathetic. And I lost the frog suit. Although I like to leave this level without the frog suit. Mainly because it affects your ability to get another star card. Aw, oh, yeah. Go ahead and get this item over here, which I wouldn't be surprised if it's yet another frog suit. <laughs> hey, it's another frog suit. It do be like that sometimes. Yeah, I'm gonna waste... I, well, it's not really waste. I'll go ahead and use the star and just deal with these hammer bros. They're kind of in the way of the path I was hoping to take here in a second. 
Yeah, get that hammer out. Because, go ahead and make a little cruise over here to Prize Island, as I like to call it. Where you get a couple of mushroom houses and a few extra lives if you're good enough at that item thing. Do I manage to make any use out of it, though? Oh, it looks like I'm very well might. Oh, nope. Never mind. <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to go. Yeah, another frog suit. Which World 3 is about the only place where it's useful. Those spoilers, I do end up using it later. Oh, that didn't go good. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but yeah, there, there's even hidden secrets on the world maps sometimes in this game. Just cruise over here and you got another mushroom house. Get another super leaf out of it, I'll take it. Now if you keep going to the right, you can... You can end up where the uh, castle is, but you cannot access it. Still got a handful of levels to deal with here, including this auto-scroller. Feel like I'm probably gonna need that fire flower. Now the auto-scrollers don't really bother me all that much, but sometimes they do just because... I like to get through levels as quickly as possible. I think it's probably the Sonic fan in me. Because I like to just blaze through levels as quickly as possible. And Sometimes you can't do that in Mario 3 because... Auto-scrollers. Although the cool thing about auto-scrollers is they do definitely reward you for your patience. For example, that one up back there that I got. And this can be a pretty tricky part if you're not careful. It's a good thing I had Raccoon Mario because I could just kind of float back down. Because those stupid platforms will fling you if you're not careful. Aw, oh, yeah, I got another one of them five-up, three-star card matches. Yeah, in all reality, this level ain't so bad. It's just you gotta look out for these enemies here. And I believe they're called Spikes. Mostly just because they vomit spikes at you as projectiles. And oh man. <laughs> yeah, I kind of just got surrounded by them there for a second. They're very annoying to deal with, but... Yeah, what was I thinking? Not getting that one up back there. Bonk. But yeah, the spikes can be kind of annoying, but not always. You just gotta know how to avoid them and where they're gonna be. But you can tell I've played this a lot since I know where they're gonna be. <laughs> but not always, of course. But hey, I got another star card out of it. So far up to 46 lives, which... Considering I'm only at World 3, that's actually... I think pretty good. And this is the second fortress in World 3. As some worlds have more than just one fortress. But the goal here is just to kind of swim around, avoid those cheap cheeps, green cheap cheeps as they are here, and those ghosts and the nuclear waffles. <laughs> I know that they're called roto discs but i prefer the avgn terminology myself but yeah just deliver five fire bonks and you don't even really have to deal with boom boom yeah, 
And I, I'm thinking might as well go ahead and see if I can do this here match game. So far, so good. What happens? <laughs> Never mind. We'll go on to 3-8, and this time around, Big Bertha makes another appearance. She was one of the butt sisters. <laughs> Whoa, that was really close. This level isn't... Personally, in my opinion, this level isn't as difficult as 3 3. As it's a lot easier to avoid Big Bertha here. Now, wait a minute. Yeah, there is a Grateful Dead song called Bertha. Wonder if that's where they got the inspiration for the name. Although the enemy is originally called Boss Bass, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't do. An excessive amount of research into this game. Let's see what this card game has going on over here. Yeah. Hey, so far so good, yeah. Looks like I'm gonna go ahead and match the rest of the board. Aw, yeah. Go on to 3-9. Which, I don't know what I was thinking there for a second. I thought this was another one of those auto-scrollers. There is an item back there, but I'm not going to bother to get it. I just want to get through here without issue. And of course, just like throughout the rest of the game, once again, another extra life. Hidden... And it looks like if I get one more coin, I'll have another extra life. Which does not happen here, but I do manage to get three stars. So yeah, I'm already up to 52 lives. But yeah, I just... I have so many fond memories with this game. Also, this island here is supposed to resemble the shape of Japan, kinda. Oh hey, it's that enemy from Super Mario World. The uh, ones that spew fire at you, except they're not green here. But yeah, this little island that the castle's on is supposed to kind of loosely resemble Japan, which is pretty cool. The castle's actually placed where Kyoto's supposed to be, which is the Nintendo headquarters. And I definitely want to point out that in all my past attempts to record and play this game... This is usually where I had the most trouble, and it's not necessarily... It's not because of the airship. It's because of the coupling battle with the coupling at the end of the airship. But you'll see what I'm talking about here in a sec. Although it is kind of difficult to get through here sometimes if you don't know what you're doing. I guess, well, really, the same can be said for the entirety of the game. But yeah, this is Wendy O. Koopa, and she's one of the harder Koopalings to deal with. Because you gotta look out for those rings that she throws at you, as well as that super high jump that she does. We'll go ahead and get her out of the way. And get that third magic wand. And I still haven't managed to get 100 coins for that extra life yet. Once again, turn the king back to normal. <laughs> Wait a second. The king looks just like Mario normally does. Is it me, Mario? I, I don't know what's going on here. It's kind of strange. <laughs> but hey, this time around you end up getting a music box. And that's going to be the end of part three, folks. And I hope you'll tune in for the fourth part of the Super Mario Bros. 3 playthrough. And I will see you all then.